Hello everybody, this is Heather Gordon, welcome back to more Let's Play The Legends of the Ocarina of Time. Last time we took on the bottom of the well and got the Lens of Truth, and this time we're going to go and take on the Shadow Temple. This is pretty exciting, so let's go and take it on, shall we? So yeah, as you can see, we all have all these uh, unlit torches, and you're thinking to yourself, Oh no, I don't have enough arrows or, you know, or fire arrows to uh, take care of all this, but, you know, we can just simply go and uh, get out our dense fire, and just pretty much take care of that, and we can get one of the great fairies in the game. I think I'm missing one, so we'll take care of that later. Yeah! Okay, that was really dumb, I'm sorry. But now that we got that, we can go and just simply enter the dungeon. So that's pretty cool. Not dungeon, it's temple. I keep getting them confused. Jesus Christ. So yes, the Shadow Temple. We are now inside of it, sweet. Gonna get deep inside the Shadow Temple, yeah baby. Anyway, uh, we're just gonna latch on here. Okay. Shadow will, leap, will yield only to one of the Eye of with the Eye of Truth handed down in Kakariko Village. Alright, I really stumbled on saying that, I'm sorry. Okay, one thing I want to notice is that uh, I want to explain a little bit and uh, stop confusing some people. Uh, this uh, Lens of Truth is uh, supposed to help reveal certain things, and I will say because of this uh, problem with this uh, ROM on this emulator, it uh, causes uh, certain things not to work properly with the Lens of Truth, and so some of these things should be appearing, but you can't really notice them that much. Uh, I can see it faintly with some of them. Like uh, this, it doesn't appear. So I just want to clear that out. So some of it's going to be like that, some of it's not. just want to clear out some confusion. So yeah. Uh, we can go through here, and I will try to go through here first. And I'll just get, take care of this one within here. Alright. Okay. One who gains the Eye of Truth will be able to see what is hidden in the darkness. Sweet. So as you can see, none of these will really appear, so I'm just going to try walking on the walls. Uh, okay, so that's the entrance. I'm gonna have to stay on the walls the whole time. See which one's real, which one's the right one. Alright, I think it's this one. Yep. Sweet. And we got a little mini boss, I think. Oh no, just take care of this little dead boy. Sweet. You're dead. Haha. <laughs> Alright. And I think I got some enemies as well. I'll take care of the. Die. Die. Okay, thank you. I only took four arrows for you, god dang. Okay. Ah, go away. Die. Thank you. Alright, so now we got that out of the way. We're gonna have a treasure chest up here, I believe. Yes. Oh, big one. My god. Okay. Now, I believe this is gonna contain the uh, map for this dungeon, so I just got that. Or the freaking temple! I cannot explain. My god. The map for this temple. Sorry about that, but. Yes, we got that out of the way. Um, okay. So, yeah, now that I got that, uh, we're not completely done in this room yet where we go back to backtracking yet. I'm gonna still uh, walk along these walls a bit more. I think it's gonna be in between these two uh, pots right here. Get some hearts. That'd be nice. Oh, and thank you, see. Or thank you, none, I mean. Yep. Go through here. What is hidden in the darkness? Tricks full of ill will. You can't see the way forward. Okay. So we got that. Um, I'll see which one's working. What is hidden? Okay. Some rudely interrupting me, Navi. Is that Navi talking? I'm not sure. It's like a weird, crazy voice in Link's head, just causing him to drive mad. That's why he doesn't speak, because he's a freaking maniac. You don't really want to hear what he says, because he's crazy. Anyway, like me. All right, now we got this mini boss again, from which we saw in the last episode in the bottom of the well. So we're gonna take care of this. Die. That'd be nice. Oh my God, stop! Please stop. Oh, come on. Here we go. Yes. Okay. Let go. Come on. Thank you. I was going to make a frozen joke, but I'm not going to do that anymore. Stop. Stop. <laughs> this is so annoying. I can't wait for him to be dead because this is the last we'll ever see of him. Ow. Am I going to die here? Please don't tell me I'm going to die. That would be nice. I don't know. Okay. Get a heart. Do I have any fairies? I'm going to keep my... I got one. I'll take it. All right. Okay, I got to hold on a bit. Dead? Okay, thank you. He's dead. Never gonna see you again. Haha. <laughs> thank you. Okay. We got that out of the way. There's gonna be another chest for us. And I believe this will be the compass. Or not. I think that might be the item. Not sure. Let's see what it is. 50 bucks on the item. 50 bucks on the item. 50 bucks on the item instead of the compass. What is it? Yeah, boy. You got the hover boots. With these mysterious boots, you can hover above the ground. The downside? No traction. 
You can even use these to walk for short periods where there is no solid ground. Be brave and trust in the boots. Sweet. I'm gonna put these on because because of how funny they kind of look with the animation of him running. Uh, so yeah, we can pretty much help us hover, which is gonna be really necessary for this dungeon to progress. And it's all slippery. Uh, I like to usually call these, um, my older days of playing this game, I used to love to call these the butter boots because they look like sticks of butter. It's so stupid, but still, it's, it's really funny to me, personally. Uh, I think, have we gotten everything in here? Uh, yep, pretty much. Alright, so we're good for here. I'm just gonna backtrack a little bit. Okay. Go back in here. There we go, we got really lucky with picking and selecting the right um, wall piece to go through. So sweet. Right, now I can go back through here. And uh, as you can tell, we can't really pinpoint which one's the correct one. I think there's like a slight shade which helps us tell. Which one is it? I think you remember. It was, it's hard to tell because they don't work properly. I'm mad. Uh, I think it was this one over here, so I'm just gonna try a bit. Okay, gotta speed up a bit, sorry about that. Okay, is that it? No, okay, thankfully I had the shoes on, so it's good. Uh, which one is it? Is it? I think it's gonna be this one in the middle. Let's try. Yes, it is, the back one, sweet. I don't know if it's randomized or not. Okay. Anyway, now we can go through here, and thanks to the boots, we can go through there easily and get through that, um, you know, that, that uh, you know, abyss so we don't fall and die to our death. Alright. Okay, we're gonna want to go and get ourselves a bomb here so we can uh, get a bomb to blow up this, like, weird monster robotic alien thing. What the high Illuminati! We can kill him! What the heck? Set a little closer. There we go. Nice. Got bombs. Sweet. Okay, so... This one was real. Uh, two of those three uh, uh, dirt walls were real. Or no, or uh, invisible walls. Only one of them is real. And then, okay, so, gotta collect these five silver rupees to uh, get to where we gotta go next and clear this room. Ugh. Stop. Sibling fucking playing music in the background, I'm sorry. I don't think you can hear it, but still, I'm just like, God, stop freaking, just stop freaking like, yeah, I can't speak. God, keep running around crazy, I'm sorry. Alright. What are we gonna do next? Uh, okay, we're gonna get a hook shot, which is gonna lead us to. Anyway, incomprehensible speech for the wind. Okay. Hook shot on the deer, which will lead us to getting our next silver rupee, which gets us to there. Nice. We got that. We can go and open up this treasure chest, which is going to get us a key. Nice bit of key for our goodness, graciousness. Okay, that was really dumb, I'm sorry, but still. Now we got that out of the way. I think we're good for that room as well. Yep, we got everything we need there, we got the key. Oh god, this was the wrong pathway to take, and it's spoiling the place where that's supposed to be it, I'm sorry. I'm gonna climb back up. Huh. Da -da 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 -da. Okay, got to speed that up, sorry. Anyway, we can now go back to where we gotta go. Go back to our last place, backtrack a bit, and we'll be good. Okay. This is one of my favorite of the temples, in my opinion. Uh, it's not as fun as the fire. As it, no, I mean like it's kind of tied with the fire temple. Uh, it's it's my second favorite to the spirit temple. So yeah. Okay, this uh, one's also fake, so we're just gonna go through here and get what we gotta get. Oh god! Don't wanna let him grab on me. I'm kill him. Oh god, hurry. There we go, and he's dead. So we open up that door, and we're gonna get ourselves another chest of hearing. And there is the compass for us. So we got all three of them in one part, that's pretty cool. Okay, we got the item, the map, and the compass all in one part at the very beginning, so that's cool. Yeah, I think they made it, the game developers made that. We're pretty aware that we gotta really need all those essentially at the very beginning because, you know, this kind of can be a confusing dungeon in a way. Uh, I'm gonna get the Lens of Truth. I think there might be a... No, there's no chest in here. 
All right, since we got the compass, we can tell that there's um, no like real like extra item available. It'll tell when there is, but um, apparently there wasn't. So I'm gonna want to use a bomb right here because this is real. Now we got that. I got hurt because I'm stupid. But anyway, we can now go through this uh, locked door, which will then lead us down here, which is cool. And uh, we gotta watch out for this enemy. Kill him there. There's like four of these. Okay. Uh, just gotta watch out for those. I don't wanna throw a bomb. <laughs> anyway, I'll take it. It's, it's goddamn stupid. I, I just use the uh, hookshot because it's faster than the arrows because you gotta use two arrows and it takes longer. Hookshot kills them immediately. The long shot, I mean. Politically correct about uh, not discrimination, not discriminating the types of uh, hook shots or long shots, I mean. Oops. Hook shot master race. Oh god, it's terrible. I'm getting controversial in a way. I'm going to stop that. But anyway. Okay. So we're all good here. Watch for the shadows of monsters that hang from the ceiling. So yes, the floor grabbers, the hand-shaped floor grabber monster thing. I forgot the name, but still, they're annoying. Okay. Die. Sweet. Got that out of the way, and we're going to now go and take care of this contraption thing. Oh god. Careful. Okay, sweet. Oh god, okay. If you fall, you have to go and repeat all four of those sculpts that you go a far way back, so make sure I'm gonna get to a door and I don't fall, so I have to repeat all that with some more time. Will you die? Thank you. He just explodes. Get some arrows out of him, that's cool. I'll take it. I'll take it. Thank you. Uh. I made it. There's gonna be at least one located in my robot. Sweet. Yep. Two. Three. Watch out for the spinning uh, uh, spike enemies. So, I don't think they have a name. I don't think a Navi identifies them. But there we go. Now go through there and stop hitting me, please. Anyway. About to enter a new area on the map. Okay, yeah. Now we got a save point, so I don't have to worry about being taken aback a bit. So yeah, as you can tell, we uh, need to get out the um, lens of truth for this area. But I think the ROM kind of breaks here a little bit. Uh, it kind of does. We can see like a little bit of a shadow of it. It's supposed to show it completely, but it didn't apparently. It's some wrong patching problems with the game, or the, I mean, for the ROM. But anyway, it's all right. It's, it's all good, man. Anyway. Okay, I don't want to push it all the way. Okay, just thought it'd stop. I'm kind of OCD when it comes to that, but still. Okay, we're gonna want to use. I don't want to have this one truth open. I don't want to waste all my magic. Uh, okay, now we got that. Okay, we're gonna push it just so far. We get both of them on there. There we go. Both of them are on. Sweet. Okay. Like that. Now go inside here to get ourselves yet another gold sculpture, which is cool. So cool. Can I jump for it? Ah, can I jump? No, I can't. Sadly. Cool. Okay. Get a. Actually, I'll take it right here. I'll, I'll put the hook shot on the left and let the arrows be on the right. Okay. I not put the hook shot on the left and let the arrows be on the the down uh, button. Let's see, Let's see button. Okay. Um, what about this chest right here? What we got? Arrows! Yay! Sweet. Uh, I'm thinking I'm gonna end off this episode once we uh, get done with this room right here, so I'm gonna take care of the last bit of things. Ah, I can't think. Okay. I think we got everything. Yep, it's really weird the camera right now, but okay. Oh god, I can't take anything seriously. Okay. Uh, now we're gonna want to take this block and push it all the way back so we can climb up it. Alright, speed up a little bit. Okay. There we go. Now we can climb up on top of it. We're in these boots, they're fun. Alright. A little slippery, but they're fun. That's why I call them butter. Anyway. Butter boots. Okay. Hit the switch right here. This appears the chest. That, we can now go and open this one up right here. I can actually aim for it properly. That'd be nice game. Thank you. There we go. You got it! A blue rupee, that was pointless, but anyway. 
Uh, I think that, that was the one I switched. Uh, I'm locking it. To, it's gonna be this one over here. Okay. All right. Uh, can I make it? Yes. Okay. Open up this treasure chest right here, and what do we get? We get a key. Sweet. All right, so that's pretty much going to wrap up this episode right here for today. So next time on Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time, we're going to continue in the Shadow Temple and hopefully uh, investigate a little bit further. So I think we're already about like a third of the way through the dungeon, so I th or temple. So yeah, gotta keep confusing it. So yeah, I think we're getting close, or doing a lot of good progress. So anyway, thank you all so much for watching. I've been C the Cord, and I will see you guys next time. So goodbye, everyone.